Today we're going to talk about muscle tissue, and the goal of this video is to describe the main functions of the muscular system and the structures that make up the three types of muscle tissues. First, let's ask, what are the functions of the muscular system? The tissues and organs of the muscular system are unique in that they are able to contract, and this produces movement. So the muscular system does the following four things. It produces movement, and by that I mean locomotion of the whole body, including facial expressions, circulation of the blood, passage of food, and so on. The muscular system also maintains your posture, so it, it helps to work against gravity to keep you upright. It stabilizes your joints, and by that I mean it reinforces the connections of bones. And it generates heat. So cellular respiration causes heat energy, and this allows you to have a constant body temperature. So these are four functions of the muscular system. Now let's talk about characteristics of muscle tissue. So all muscle, all muscle tissues have these four characteristics. First, excitability. And by that I mean the ability to respond to a stimulus from a motor neuron or a hormone. Second, contractibility. So this is the ability to shorten when stimulated. Third, extensibility. This is the ability to lengthen or stretch even past the original shape. And fourth, elasticity. This is the ability to recoil or bounce back to the original shape after uh, you've been after it's been stretched. Okay, so these are four characteristics of muscle tissue. Now, there are three types of muscle tissue, and I want to talk about the differences between them. So first, there's skeletal muscle. This is muscle that's connected to bones. It's cylindrical, so it's shaped like a, like a cylinder. It's striated, so they look like stripes. The muscle fibers look like stripes. They're multinucleated, so they have multiple nuclei. Uh, these are voluntarily controlled. You have control over them. And they contract uh, slowly or even very quickly. Okay, so that's the first type of muscle tissue, skeletal muscle tissue. All right, then you have cardiac muscle tissue, and this is found in your heart. Um, this muscle tissue is branched, so it's not like one cylinder anymore. It has branches on it. It is also striated, so it looks like it has stripes. Uh, it is uninucleated, meaning uh, there's only one nucleus uh, within, within it. Uh, this is involuntarily controlled. So you don't have direct control over uh, the muscle, the, the tissues making up your heart. And uh, this tissue is mostly slow and, and has steady contractions except during short periods of activity. Okay, so that's the second type. Now the third type is smooth muscle tissue. And this is found in walls of internal organs. For example, your stomach. And it's arranged in uniform layers. It is non-striated, so it doesn't look like it has these stripes in it. Uh, it is uninucleated, so there's only one nucleus within uh, this, this tissue. Uh, it's involuntarily controlled. So again, that doesn't mean you, have to, you don't have direct control over these tissues. And these are also slow contractions that are sustained for long periods of time. Okay, so smooth muscle is the third type of muscle tissue. And this chart lays out some of the similarities and some of the differences between each type. All right, now let's talk about the microscopic structure of just the skeletal muscles. So I, I gave you three types of muscle tissue. Let's focus in on the skeletal muscle and talk about the structure of those. So <clears throat> this image lays out the different components of skeletal muscle. 
and skeletal muscle is attached to bone by tendons and skeletal muscle is made of many bundles of fibers. Now the fascicle, so we're zooming in a little bit here, uh, a fascicle is a bundle within muscles. Next, what makes up the fascicle are muscle fibers. So these are long, thin muscle cells, and each is covered by sarcoplasmic reticulum. That's a fancy word. Uh, this just transmits an impulse to the muscle fiber. And then what makes up the muscle, the muscle uh, fibers are myofibrils. These are thread-like organelles of the muscle fibers, and they're structured in long strided units called sarcomeres. And then what makes up these myofibrils? They're made up of myofilaments. So two types of filaments are actin, which are thin, and myosin, which are thick. And they make up the, the sliding filament model of the muscle. And this is responsible for contracting activity of muscle fibers. Okay, so that shows you the basic structure of skeletal muscles. They're made up of these uh, components. Now, um, how are muscle fibers protected? So membranes allow muscle fibers to slide and keep them contained to prevent bursting during contractions when your muscles are contracting. And <clears throat> the epimysium covers the entire muscle. The paramysium covers a fascicle. And the endomysium covers an individual muscle fiber. So reference that last slide that we looked at to see the whole muscle, the fascicle, and then the muscle fibers. And here I'm showing you how each of those are protected. So to sum up, muscle cells are able to contract when stimulated by an impulse. Skeletal muscle is consciously controlled and is made of many bundles of muscle fibers protected by membranes. Cardiac and smooth muscle movements are involuntary and they provide slower, longer motion.